Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. I have not been live in a long time. And I just wanted to pop on. Hello. Just wanted to pop on, answer some questions, chat. I haven't gone live in a long time. And on Instagram, I do go I do go live on YouTube. I don't know, I just like YouTube's energy. But I like you I like IG's energy as well. So I just I just haven't felt the push, but here we are. Welcome in. I just got back from the pool. I feel like I've just been living. Hey, Queen Tay. I feel like I've just been living in this caftan. <laughs> um, but you know what? I'm I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. It's a it was a good way to spend the remainder, the the last degree or last degrees of Venus in in Virgo was doing something just at the beach and enjoying life. So because that was a week, right, guys? Like. I don't know what kind of week did you all have <laughs> during uh the last the last degrees of Venus and Virgo. Hi there. Um just a lot of, you know, I think we talk all talked about how um like a lot of astrologers the new moon in Leo, you know, is a big portal of manifestation, creation. Um and it doesn't mean that that it's still that it's not that, but there have been some delays, you guys, like with Venus being in in a stability um and we also still have Jupiter retrograde and we need we need that forward movement of the upcoming full moon in Aquarius to really start like um causing some forward movement I've already seen some to the day today there was stuff going on I'm like in terms of you know Della Della Bill's coins and I'm like what what's going I love how to a T astrology is the minute that uh Venus goes into Libra it's you just kind of feel that energy kind of pick up and um yeah so you cut all all your hair off oh, okay I did that once when I was um and uh, Queen Tay, I saw I peeped you. You uh, you have a new do too. I love it. I was gonna uh, let you know that. Um, but Neptune, bitch, you cut your hair off. I did that once. Um, it was during my Saturn return, which like makes sense. I don't know if you're in your Saturn return, but it was very freeing when I did it. Realizations about relationships and knowing what you want. Well, that's right in alignment with what I'm going to talk about today with Venus in Libra. I'm actually, I'm looking at the charts right now. <laughs> at my phone here, I'm not in my normal home, so I don't have my normal setup, so I'm trying to make it work, but uh, I've got the charts on a, my laptop next to me, so I'll talk more about that, but it's right in alignment with what's going on right now. Um, 27 Saturn return, <laughs> yes. That's the age that I did. Literally, I just, I went to this. I went to the. I was working in hair at the time, and I went to the salon and chopped it off. And then on top of it, I got like blonde. So Queen Tay, I was like, <laughs> I'm a Leo Moon, so it's just, yeah. You cut your hair off. Cutting your hair off instead of return. It's so freeing, you know. Everyone needs to. I I think it's a great thing to do. If you do it once in your life or if you rock rock short hair, it's it's great. Um, I love that. That's real shit. Um, Venus is about to pass your natal Jupiter. Any wisdom or advice? Well, first of all, yay. That's awesome. Um, and so let me like just get into what I'm gonna talk about today, because that definitely answers more than one uh question. But so yesterday, Venus or well today but it was midnight today so I, I don't know everyone says midnight is tonight but you guys know what i mean today venus moved into libra and venus was in its stability of in virgo and i also want you guys to, i want to pause on that for a second because i want you guys to understand with dignities and debilities it's not like oh my god my planet is so bad or oh it's so great like it's it really just helps people to know what that means and actually it's a form of shadow work i think debilitated planets or where the magic lies in your chart. Because once you understand how it works, 
you can work with it and, and use that to your, your best of your ability. Like I have a debilitated Mars, you know, I, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a productive member of society. Like I'm okay. So, uh, cause someone just commented on the post I did on it saying like, Oh, well I have Venus and Virgo and I'm fine. I'm like, of course you can have Venus and Virgo and be completely fine. Like, especially depending on how it's aspecting other planets. Like if you have a sun in, in Scorpio, that's a very synergistic connection between Venus and Scorpio, um, or between Venus and Virgo and a Scorpio sun. So that doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just, it helps understanding the way that the planet performs that sign, especially when you're doing transits. So that's when you'll know when energies are going to be like, it has nothing to do with the person's placement. It's, I mean, and you'll feel it. You want to know when something, if you have a debilitated planet and that planet is going to be there, that's a great thing to know for your own, you know, benefit. But so I digress from dignities and debilities, but that's really what helps me so much in what I do is understanding that. So Venus wasn't comfortable. Venus rules over Libra, which now Venus is in Libra, but um, Venus is exalted in the sign of Pisces. So Pisces' opposite sign is naturally v, uh, Virgo. So in the opposite sign, it's not going to do well. And Virgo is about discernment and the details. And it's a very analytical earth sign. Venus is all about flash and abundance and um, indulgence. Like, it's right. Like, it's like just not working together sometimes. Or you have to understand how to work through it. So the thing with working through this this past time is through the details of your relationships through the details of contracts or agreements because people don't realize it's a huge part of our lives it's everything how we relate to others and a lot of us during this venus it, it was uh july 22nd venus moved into virgo a lot of us started taking stock of like who who's in my field who who are you or, or do, does this contract work does this agreement work um, is where I'm living, working is, is, is what job I'm doing working. Cause these are all contracts in this reality. They're all contracts. They're all relationships. Even your job can be, that's a relationship thing that lives under Libra, uh, work relationships and contracts. So a lot of us are going over the details and, or things can be, have been delayed in certain circumstance. And then you had to like go back and like review it or redo it and have a bunch of stuff happen. And you're like, oh my God. So that's really what we've been going through. And so now, like, planets like Venus are also what I call triggers. So, yes, there are outer planets doing things that are really important, which I, I'm going to talk about as well, the Uranus retrograde. <laughs> this week, there are other planets doing important things, but Venus is also an activator. And so Venus, moving into an air sign now, into the sign of Libra, is activating Saturn in Aquarius. So we can't forget like when these fast moving planets are connecting to like a heavy hitter that's been doing a lot of things for a long time. It's like, that's when you can see like movement or things happening. So, and this is great. Venus trying to Saturn is what we all need right now <laughs> to balance shit out, to bring in contracts, bring in agreements, bring in things that can be long-term, that can be stable. This is maybe stemming from past things, past seeds you've planted. Um, if you've been working on a business, if you've been working on yourself, your, yourself, if you're Aquarius rising, for example, you're working on yourself, changing yourself, transforming yourself, going through some hard lessons. And now Venus is going to come along and be like, all right, calm down, Saturn, <laughs> calm down. And Saturn is, is retrograde. So Saturn is calm now. So we can, and, and, and I'm not saying that there's a lot of bullshit going on in the world, like really awful stuff. I couldn't even believe the news. The past couple days so let's let like let's first also be grateful those watching and i know i don't know everyone's situation but i know we all have have problems but i feel nothing but gratitude today having seen what is going on in the world in afghanistan and seeing what's going on in haiti over a thousand people dead and there's lit it's like insane what's going on right now and there's way more there's there's more and so Venus is entered in the Libra also wants us to feel gratitude for what we do have. And that's what brings abundance. That's what I teach with alchemy manifestation. Like when you feel when you're vibrating out gratitude, it's so much it's it's that's when more can be handed to you. It's like the universe can recognize that energy and will bring more things like that to you. So it's not to let and le yeah, Lebanon too. It's just I can't, it's 
let's uh, I'm trying to keep I'm gonna keep the side vibes I'm not gonna I'm a Scorpio so I get intense um and I want I want to like be of service right now to like help elevate you guys and not let's take a break from that because it's not good it's really bad I know um but for for us who who are in this in this country or if you're not in the United States if you are in a position where you are like even able to watch an astrology video is a blessing in some of these places you think you can watch astrology videos over there right now or or practice or do what you do if you're a witch like forget about it so i just that's all i i, I digress from that but that's what i felt overwhelmingly today um especially with venus's move into libra so not only is venus about relationships so we are picking that apart during, during venus and virgo and then like we're moving now into venus um venus balancing things out balancing the scales Venus also bringing joy and abundance. Venus calming Saturn's effects down. Saturn in Aquarius has been interesting, um, to say the least. We 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 know, you know, on a on a historical standpoint as well, what has happened in past Saturn in Aquarius transits, and this one in particular, it's just it really has a lot to do with what the collective is going through on a on a global scale of just limitation like when you think of the resources that are really available to everyone it's not to everyone right so that's also being made very apparent and i think venus in some situations venus can also come along to, to really help some of these situations um more so than venus and virgo venus and virgo wasn't helping anyone um so that's really like what is the deal with venus in in libra and and venus is activating that dormant saturn in aquarius um and venus is also um also positively activating the south node we'll start to in the early degrees of of libra well or excuse me the north node um and the south node actually jk the north node it, even more because it's a trine but um that's really going to help with just some of the restriction um i think it's but you have to remember like venus and libra won't last forever so i think that it's gonna hold some things out for some time but um and i talk more about this fall actually in my 2021 horoscopes that are not available on instagram but they are available i'll get into to my uh to black and Wolf collective shortly but um that's going to kind of help certain things as we carry over into october but October is a month where things can maybe start to get a little more restrictive again. Um, but Venus also represents justice and peace. So it's very clear they're, they're really, it's, it's like the term peace is just so foreign in, in the systems. And this is really what Venus is also all about. And so there can maybe be some sort of peace talks like, in the middle east or in in those countries like there needs to be because obviously it's it's the situations are, are pretty dire so i mean i couldn't like before i jumped on the live i was just looking on my own on my instagram and um i saw people this is another this is when the overwhelming gratitude started too when i saw people there were u.s air force planes being lifted off and there's literal people trying to just hop on like the wing of the plane to get out of there like go you can find it online but like i was like i'm sitting at a pool in florida watching this and it's just yeah 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 so i'm talking about um the withdrawal yeah it's just <sighs> yeah so hopefully with this venus transit we can get there can be something there needs to be some sort of plan um that needs to it's just a mess so venus is doing nothing but at least helping the situation there's a venus out of debility and even right now we have the moon in sagittarius which also i think why the moon in scorpio i was like i'm not trying to go live for anything but moon in sag it's like okay um so that also is kind of elevating the mood like a lot of you may have felt just like lethargic or just more internal keeping to yourself or going through just kind of like the depths of, of an issue looking at the details and now you're out of the other side today you might feel like okay like i can like think 
Um, Mercury is in Virgo right now with Mars. Mercury is also at home. Mercury is feeling better. And also you can use discernment. So all the things that you were you were picking apart. <laughs> all the, just not picking apart. I hate to say that about like Virgo energy, but it's like you're you're looking at the practical details and you're like, this doesn't work, this works. This doesn't work, ooh, fix this. Okay, mm, doesn't feel right. Um, and so now with Mercury and Mars there and Venus just like comfy, you can now take action. And I think a lot of you will feel empowered to move in directions that make make sense for you and the full moon in aquarius that's on the 22nd at um the time let's see it's like 801 801 a.m um that is like that's a path clearer so any delays you've been experiencing you were like oh these astrologers said i'm gonna manifest during the, the portal and it closes on the 12th i'm like okay it's such a thing like in astrology where the the energy gets initiated like it, it starts but then you need some triggers to come along and like push things you know so that's what i'm saying with venus is ingress into libra today that's starting that's setting the stage and then we have um august 22nd the full moon in aquarius that's act that's activation for a couple weeks after that full moon so that's something to remember with full moons it's like a it's like a two-week window a two-week story so and then like once you have some other triggers that come along during that two-week story it can really make it potent and if you have it in your signs so if you're an aquarius or leo it's powerful for you if you have your sun moon rising in the in one of those signs um and this is also really powerful for for libras too you have venus and libra also and aquarius this is a power that, well i already said that this is powerful for you guys too but venus is really activating saturn in a positive way and a lot of you i think a lot of people are going to be entering a relationship some winter booze you know <laughs> winter winter uh what do they call it coughing season whatever they make this just makes sense because of venus venus moving into its Libra. and it's not everyone and it, you have to remember where these transits happen like when i'm talking general it's it's the general energies but in your own life you want to know by sign what's happening for you um, that's a really good segue. <laughs> Coffee season. Um, so that's actually a really good segue. So yeah, so I'm going to hop off in a little bit. But before I hop off, I wanted to talk about Black and Love Collective because we also have only five days left. Five days left until the doors close for the year for 2021. And basically, this is my this is an online private streaming community and empowering astrology so it's like part coaching part astrology part alchemy and magic and all fun fun witchy stuff like crystals and guided meditations and classes and workshops and all the fun stuff so it's all it's all open now but i wanted to keep it um keep one group for the year so it's really like we're spending that time together and we're really doing the work and transforming and changing from the inside out all that fun stuff and then i would open the doors again for new members um so this is super super special and this is actually um this is actually a great offer because i'm going to offer all of my stuff for members unlimited so like i plan on um have charging like for what different webinars and courses um that i'm going to create this year just by individually i'm going to do that once doors close but black one that black one with collective is an opportunity to get all of that at an amazing price so like i really want to do this as a service for people who wouldn't or if you could only dabble in a couple classes this is a way to get things more well-rounded instead of just do, going to one thing and then it may not click or putting that um into practice may be a challenge so definitely check that out we have five more days until the door closes um and then oh i have like a couple more announcements as well so i'm doing my full moon in aquarius horoscopes um and that's what i want to mention as well so um i'm going to be doing those by sign so that's a great way to understand what's coming up for you um and after the doors, the doors close i do do horoscopes on youtube so if you're not following me there but i am going to be cutting that down tremendously so all of the content is really going to be and i'm going to do some content still like publicly on social but um 
most of the really in-depth content is all going to be on Black Milk Collective. I have yearly horoscopes that are going to be coming out for 2020 that are going to be on there. And I'm going to put those for sale. So they're going to be included for members for that one price. So I'm like, it's actually like a literal deal. And it's only, it's only going to be open for five more days. So check that out in the bio link after the live. Um, and I also wanted to invite you guys, I did actually do the Black Moon Lilith webinar. So I did a webinar on, um, ooh, I did it last, it was on the Lions Gate portal. It was on the New Moon and Leo on the 8th. And it was so much fun. I went through all, Black Moon through the signs, all the stuff. Like, we had a ball. Um, I did do intro music, but I didn't, <laughs> I decided to save that for the recording. I was a little crazy. Um, but it was a lot of fun. And, um, that is available included in the membership for Black and Wealth Collective members. But I am going to sell that separately, like individually. So, um, it's just saving you money in the long run. And then it's like, you're part of the tribe and you get like, we're going to, I'm going to do members only private events too. Um, the other people won't be invited to, so that's going to be a lot of fun. And there's a lot of amazing contributors. Um, so actually, if you do want to see previews of the content, I have put up, It's there's a lot on IG, but if you join YouTube um, at Lilith Astrology, I think I have a link in, in my bio to that, um, there's previews of all the content. So you can like see what it is before you join. Uh, and it's changing every single month. So... Yeah, so I have some horoscopes coming up. I have an Astrology 101 course coming up. And this isn't for people who want to be practicing astrologers. It's for people who want to, like, look at the chart and be able to see the basics or be able to, like, basically read, like, your transits so that you can, you don't have to, like, dial an astrologer every time you want to just check something. Or you'll be able to understand more of what we talk about online. So that's going to be a whole course. I'm going to offer that separately once the doors are closed. But... It's going to be included for members. It's like I can't, I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's like a really good offer. Um, and I really just wanted to do this as, so I'm calling it collective because it's like for everyone. It's very attainable and everyone can, can do it for the year. Um, so that is coming up, guys. And I also, one great, another great thing about it is, um, so Black and Lilith Rising, my podcast, I'm working on a new episode that's going to be, launching soon for the public, but I do have a private channel for members only. <laughs> and they get actually horoscope episodes. So I'm doing more um, horoscope content on the private and more general um, content on the public. So that also is offered for members. And there is currently a Leo season show up, but I am doing a Virgo season show um, as well. So a lot, a lot, a lot going on, you guys. Um, so yeah, Venus and Virgo, uh, that was, yeah, it, it was, it was delaying some things, but now we can see a pop and I'm really also just loving the energy of Jupiter retrograde. I think another thing too is as Venus gets into the later degrees, it's going to try and, um, Jupiter and that's really, that's so helpful um, and Jupiter is also the moon in Aquarius, the full moon of Aquarius is going to be conjunct Jupiter. So that's also really beautiful as well. So now till, you know, till we get to like end of September, it's like, it's pretty, we have some, some beneficial transits and we do have some forward movement. Um, so yeah, guys. Well, thanks for joining my, my live, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little chat, probably do a couple more of these. And don't forget, the doors close in five days for the year for Black Women Love Collective. And you get so much compared to what you will get as I sell things um, separately for non-members after. It's super special. So join the tribe. Yes. Yes, my ancestors were part of a tribe. <laughs> join the tribe. And I will talk to you all later. Have a good night.